Caroline D'Angelo, and I wrote a post called A Carbon Confession, where I confessed to my carbon footprint to coming here to the World Resources Forum 2011. My carbon footprint from flying round trip is over one ton of carbon emission. This is a really important thing to think about for all of the participants. How, much, how many resources are we using to get to these places? Are we making it worth it? A simple poll of the audience uh, today at the closing session showed that not that many people were thinking critically about their actions uh, to get to these, to these conferences and talk about these issues. It's one thing to talk about these issues, but it's another thing to live them out day to day. Hi, I'm Claudio Ruch. I'm a student reporter at the World Resources Forum in Davos. And um, one of my posts is called The Favorite Scapegoat. And it's about um, free market economy being uh, being treated as a scapegoat when it comes to resources uh, topics. And I think we should look at it from a different angle. We should make businesses that offer better economic performance and are more sustainable at the same time. I had a, I witnessed a lot of very interesting ideas here in Davos, for example, skyscrapers out of wood, recycling of plastic that saves tons of CO2, and I think there are just so many more business opportunities out there that I would just like to encourage you to take action. Hi, I'm Tanaka. Champagne cats, frogs, pigs, zebras, or horses. How do we cure propertitis and affluenza? I wrote this post because Ashok Khosla, for a change, gave a different perspective on how developing and developed countries should work. The post is all about how we go about it and how we jump, make leaps from one paradigm to another. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura from Mexico. I would like to tell you about my post, what about uh, eating yeah. insects? Have you ever consciously eaten one? So, what about eating a worm burger or a, task, a taco with crispy crickets or a delicious cockroach with chocolate? Mm, why not? It would be really good. Mm, <laughs> it would be really good for sustainability. Why don't we change paradigms and try new things? It's not so bad. Just think about it. Hi, my name is Lenka. I'm a student reporter at World Resources Forum Davos. I wrote my article about decoupling and the name is Decoupling a False Faith. My article is uh, about how decoupling actually doesn't work. So despite many people here in World Resources Forum believe and hopes that it might work, I say and put some arguments to show that it does not really work. And that's what my blog is about, and read it if you want. Hi, I'm Benoit Kurt. I'm a student reporter, and I, I really want to talk about my post, which is sustainability or how to challenge entrepreneurs. Uh, why did I write this post? Because I really, I really think that sustainability is a new challenge for entrepreneurs. Uh, and basically, that's all. My name is Nasma and I'm a student reporter in Davos at the World Resources Forum. So I have written a very wonderful post about nanotechnologies, about what you don't know about nanotechnologies. Yes, because nanotechnologies are still an immature technology and we need to ask ourselves the question, how fast can innovation go? And do we actually really control the risks? And that is really one of the biggest questions for me here at the World Resources Forum. And I'm very excited to have found some answers. Please check my posts, comment, and uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Dominika, and I'm a student reporter from Warsaw, Poland. The title of one of my favorite posts is as follows. China counters the ending better than mending idea. I wrote this post just because I believe in miracles and I would like to witness a real environmental miracle in the future. I would like to see China not as uh, the world's second economy or the world's largest contaminator, but as a country 
that is promoting a more sustainable way of development. Thank you. Hey, I'm Laura. And you know, resources are scarce. What resources? Well, indium, for example. This is a rare metal which is used in your touch screen, you know, your phone. So maybe if indium gets depleted, no more phone. Well, to know more, check out my blog, iPhone, an endangered species. I'm Mike Avaro. I wrote a post uh, called uh, Real Prices for Resources Against Squandering. It's an interview with uh, Ernst Ulrich von Weizsäcker. This professor is an amazing person because he's a guru of resource efficiency. And he has ideas like about how to shape a sustainable future. So read my post and you will know more about it. Good afternoon, good evening. My name is Nasma and I'm a student reporter. 